when people were a lot smaller. Your grandfather's up to something, said Granny, but he refuses to tell me about it. Having secrets at his age is childish. Found Grandad kneeling and looking into a hole in the middle of the path. Put his hand down it, felt around, said something to himself, shook his head, stood up, filled in the hole, and stamped down the dirt. I followed to the rhubarb patch, where he dug another hole, felt in the bottom, shook his head, and filled it in. After another three holes, I asked, Grandad, what are you looking for? He looked around the garden before whispering, A trapdoor. A what? Shh! Not too loud. I whispered, A trapdoor into what? Keep your voice down. It opens into a hole. Where does the hole go? Aha, that's it. You can tell me, Grandad. Mm, all right, but you've got to keep it a secret from your grandmother. I promise. That's what you say, but every time I tell you something, you rush off and repeat it to Granny. Oh, she makes me tell her. Well, I'm not going to tell you this if you can't keep it a secret. I'll keep it a secret. True. Scout's honor. Are, are you going to tell me now? Mm, still not sure I can trust you. Anyway, it's none of your business where the hole goes. If you don't tell me, I'll hold my breath till I swell up and burst like your story about the frog and the ox. I took a deep breath, held my nose, screwed up my face. Hey, 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 we can't have you swelling up and bursting. Your grandmother would be annoyed and make me clean up the mess. Besides, your mum and dad would be furious if I let you blow to bits. I puffed out a bit of air. Come on, you're very red. I puffed out a bit more. My cheeks went flat. My face unscrewed itself. Yeah, that's better. I'll tell you what, Grandad said. I'll go to bed early tonight, and maybe I'll dream about whether it's safe to tell you the secret of where the hole leads to. Next morning, I stared at Grandad all through porridge. I stared while he ate toast and marmalade. I stared while he drank his tea, but he said nothing. Still not talking, he led me down to the garden, dug a new hole amongst his lettuces. A spade hit something. A trap door, Grandad, can I open it? What if there's something waiting on the other side? What sort of something? Something hungry like a lion. Couldn't be a very big lion, the trap door's pretty small. Grandad nodded, and I opened the trap door. There was only a dark hole, and a sign with an arrow pointing straight down, and the words, To China. So that's your secret. I remember somebody telling me when I was a boy, that if you dug a straight down deep enough, you'd come out in China, said Grandad. But it's too small for us. Years and years ago, when the hole was dug, people were a lot smaller. You've seen your grandmother's family in her old photograph album? Midgets. I could try wriggling on my stomach. All the way to China. How about we put Granny's cat down the hole? But it doesn't speak Chinese. Grandad closed the trap door, and we covered it with dirt. Transplanted some lettuce seedlings on top, so you'd never know there was a hole that went all the way to China. I was careful not to tell Granny the secret, but it popped out when she asked what we'd been doing. How do you know the hole went to China? A sign. I hope you didn't go inside. No, it was too small to get in. Granddad said that your family could get in, though, because they were midgets. Did he indeed? Granddad said we might put your cat down the hole. He said that, well, actually it was me. You wouldn't have got the idea if it hadn't been for your grandfather and his silly secrets. My family, midgets, huh. He's going to be sorry he even thought of putting my poor old cat down his hole. But it was my idea. It might have been your idea, but it's your grandfather's fault. Where has that man got to now? When you started shouting, I saw him go for his life. He'll keep going if he knows what's good for him. Midgets and my poor old cat, the very idea of it. And although Granny said in her quietest voice, I felt sorry for Grandad.